he said like half a million dollars per year. And they've gotten to a point where they just don't know what else to spend money on because they already have two houses. They already have new cars. You know, they buy new land. And then after that, like, what else do they do? You know, like, do they, do they buy friends? What, what, what else can you do with more money? You know, like, oh, it's, it's so interesting because, you know, if you have it all, girls, fame, money, then what else is there to life? Right. It makes you think, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, because that's, that's at least what it's, is advertised in our society. I don't know if it's something that's grown over the years due to the fact that we've, a lot of generations have received famine and, and uh, have gone through atrocious wars and that sort of thing where prosperity yeah. seems I mean, to be uh, the yeah. solution. If I was rich, you know, I could, I could buy, I could basically, if I had money, I didn't know what to do with it. I'm like, I know what I would do with it. I'd buy every Hot Toys figure I could buy. But then I'm like, but then I think if I got all every Hot Toys I ever wanted, ever, or collectible, whatever, right? Yeah. Within a few days or even within a week or a month, I feel like what you're saying is right. Like, okay, well, now what? I already, now I own all of them. What do I do now? Like, I already, I already accomplished my goal, you know? There's yeah. No, there's no other Hot Toys figure left to buy at this point. Now I just have to wait for more to come out. And then every time they come out, I know I can get everyone that comes out. So it's like, it almost gets rid of like, maybe it gets rid of appreciation, but maybe it also gets rid of the, the journey of getting them. Ooh. The experience of getting them, right? Because yeah, the experience, this, this, it comes and goes just within a week and it's, it's over. And then I get bored with them. I mean, I don't, I don't even still get bored with these, but I feel like, I don't know, for some reason, it just feels like it wouldn't be as satisfying. I don't know. Yeah, why. there's this song, right? Uh, uh, can't get satisfaction. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what can't get satisfaction. Out. Even yeah. him, like, he, he said that, you know, he had it all. I mean, but even though he had it all, he couldn't get satisfaction. Yeah, it can right? never get no satisfaction with instant gratification, right? Because you're just chasing the high. You're never going to, it's just going to fleeting sensation. Yeah, what it made me think of that story in the Bible of Solomon. Solomon had riches, wealth. He could have sex with whatever woman he wanted, however many women he wanted. He was like partying all the time and stuff, and doing all the in, indulging in all the pleasures of the earth. And then after a while, he reflected after that lifestyle for several years or so. And Solomon reflected, and he started realizing that none of this matters. Like it's all meaning meaningless. All this pleasure, all this, all this sex, all this wealth all the money all the, the the alcohol the parties none of it means anything it's just meaningless stuff yeah and realizing it it just doesn't bring him satisfaction anymore he like got bored with it so it's Ooh. like he was given everything any human being would think they would want right for years or, or years or however long he had it and then it's like but it's meaningless yeah i mean it makes me think because you know, I, I follow this guy, his name is Gary Vee. And he talks about this, right? He talks about the fact that, you know, not everyone is meant to be a millionaire, not everyone is meant to be uh, a PhD professor, not everyone's meant to be, you know, all these high stuff, right? Or, you know, have a lot of money and, and that sort of thing. But, it, but he says, it's okay, you know, it's finding what actually fits who you are and what your gifts are. You know, Gary Vee says that he works 18 hour days, you know, but he doesn't wish that on anyone, but that's, that's who he that's is, he right? That's, that's what he yeah. wants. And that's what makes him, you know, happy. And, and that's why he says to people, I don't want you to work 18 hours just because I work 18 hours. I want you to work 18 hours because that's what you want to do, you right. know? And so we not, not to say that we should follow our, our own like bliss and just, you know, end up following our emotions all the time where we don't become disciplined at all. But what he's trying to get at, I, I feel is, you know, everybody is meant to experience life at the level that they were meant to experience life. Don't know what it means to be, you know, uh, a movie star or a musician you can't see their family. They have to be traveling. They Yes, they have a lot of fame and money, but we don't see the, the dark side. Can't go outside w without, you know, having paparazzi or, or that sort of thing. And so yeah. it's, it's, it's almost like Jordan Peterson says, you have to choose your own poison. Once you become famous, you can't go back. You can't just hit the undo button 
and your life is permanently changed forever. And it's not always as glamorous as people think, like, because you think about it, you can never really have a normal life ever again. Once you reach a certain level of famousness where no matter where you go, people recognize you and paparazzi follows you everywhere. Because then you can't go to restaurants as much. It's like you can't go outside almost. Or you have to disguise yourself and always worry about people swarming around you. How much money do we actually need to be happy? Right? Because you mentioned that there was a threshold. And I I know some people have talked about this threshold as well. Past $400,000, you know, they couldn't make a difference in their lifestyle. You know, they, after $400,000, felt the same way as having $1 million, as having $20 million million dollars you know yeah you're going off what i was saying about psychology showing that once people make a certain amount of money once they reach past that their happiness kind of just plateaus and stays the same making more money than that certain amount doesn't increase happiness it just kind of stays the same once you make a certain amount of money so it's kind of like you know once you reach that point your happiness is going to stay more or less the same so so it's not necessarily striving for 